Hey guys, today I am going to be talking all about my June favorites. Yeah, June favorites. Oh my god. Um, but you guys know this is my favorite type of video to film just because I feel like, you know, I'm just sitting here talking about stuff that I love, stuff that I enjoy, and I feel like I'm just talking to my friends. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the video. Don't forget to subscribe, join the Rockstar Fam Bam if you haven't already, and let's get into the products I've been loving so the first thing I wanted to talk about oh my god no this is the first thing I want to talk about so I have been completely obsessed with this M Cosmetics matte gel pencil now it may look like just an ordinary pencil like honestly I didn't really think that much of it when you know they first told me about it but I kid you not, this is the best pencil I have ever used in my life. It's better than Marc Jacobs, it's better than NARS, it's better than the, um, what's it called, the, even the Urban Decay ones, it's better than Smashbox, like, I'm telling you, this is the best liner that I have ever used. So, the reason I love it so much is because it is literally as black as it can be. It is creamy, you can smudge it off at first, like, look at that, it's uh, honestly, like, a, if you like smoky eyes, this is like a dream pencil because it smokes out like no other liner I've ever used in my life. But once it's set, it is honestly set. Like, you don't have to worry about that for days. Unfortunately, I fall asleep with my makeup on way too often. Snap fam definitely knows that. Um, I'm not sure if all of you guys know that, but yeah, I fall asleep with my makeup on way too often. And I'm telling you, this liner will stay on my eyes do or die no matter what if I do not make an effort to remove it so I could literally wear this for like three days straight and it will still look exactly like this black as can be and like I was saying like it does smudge but you if it doesn't if you don't want to smudge it like today I use it in the waterline but I didn't smudge it down even if you don't smudge it once it sets it will be like literally set there for life so that is why I love it it's pigmented it's very black it's um, creamy it's smudgeable or if you don't want to smudge it you can use it that way um, and then it's just so long wearing like genuinely I've never seen a liner this long wearing and because that liner is so bomb um, I've had to kind of up my game on um, my makeup removal process because normal makeup remover does not get that even if I use like an oil based cleanser or an oil based makeup remover that is actually supposed to get off every last bit of makeup that liner will pretty much still be on my eyes a little bit. So I've been turning to this guy, which is the Pixie Beauty Skin, sorry, not skin, Lash Nourish Makeup Remover Pads. Now, this is actually really, really convenient because it comes in little pads like this, and you literally can just wipe it on to, you know, the spots where your eye makeup is, and it is gone. <sighs> And this is actually the only thing that is actually really successful at removing this liner for me. Like I, like I was saying, I usually use um, oil-based oil cleansers, and they're honestly really, really heavy duty for the most part, except for when it comes to this liner and some waterproof mascaras. But that's where this has really been coming in handy. Um, so yeah, I mean, I really like it because it's supposed to be nourish. I'm like turning this around like crazy, but really, I was looking for the top. Um, it's supposed to be nourishing because it does have argon oil in it, so I do like that. But honestly, it's mostly the convenience of the product itself that really gets to me. And because I love this so much and I have not put this down the entire higher month I have really had to like step it up on the removal process so that has really been handy this month and I've really really been loving it another product I have to talk about because I was just so impressed when I tried these out are these new liquid lipsticks from Rimmel London now you guys know I've said this before but I genuinely do not feel like the drugstore has that many great options for liquid lipsticks you know there's great um, lipsticks there's great lip glosses but I don't really feel or I hadn't really felt like I had found a great affordable liquid lipstick until now like this has genuinely changed my life in the best way possible to be completely honest the thing that I really really love about this launch or this line is the formula it is so lightweight it feels like it feels better than a lot of high-end liquid lipsticks in the way that it wears in that it's so, like I said, it's just so lightweight. It doesn't even feel like you have anything on. I am wearing it today. I'm wearing the shade, what shade did I wear? 720 Mocha on my lips today, and I just love how it looks because it does not 
look like your lips are dry whatsoever. Like I'm telling you, I've never seen such a great affordable liquid lipstick because it glides on, it looks like velvet, it's very, it has almost like a soft finish I would say, and I really do like the color range itself. They have to, um, a lot more colors than this, but these are just the ones that I wanted to mention because these are the ones that I get the most use out of. So this shade is Be My Baby 700. That was the first one I tried and I fell in love. This is kind of like the most pink out of the bunch and it's, I feel like it's such a pretty neutral lip, um, you know, liquid, liquid lipstick. And then this is another one of my favorites. This is the shade Latte to Go 710. That's a really light one, so I'll usually wear that with like a little bit of a darker lip color. I'm sorry, lip liner to make almost like an ombre effect, but it is gorgeous. Um, and then this is probably my favorite out of the three. So this is the one I'm wearing today, and it's called Mocha. I would say it's kind of like a mixture between those two. Like if I were to mix those two, I would almost make a little baby of this one. I'm blown away by how often I've been using these this month like genuinely picking them over you know over a lot of my high-end liquid lipstick formulas that some of them that I love but I've just been obsessed with these so definitely give them a try especially their drugstore they're affordable and I feel like you will not regret trying these now I do have a product that is not that affordable but I had to mention it because it is so bomb and I tried these out in my first impressions like my full face of first impressions that I did um, earlier this month and it is these um, I almost forgot what these were called, but they're concealers from Laura Mercier, and I believe they're called the Candle Glow Highlight and Concealers. Oh, Candle Glow Concealer and Highlighter. And I wear the shades one and two. I mix these two shades, but they are so beautiful, you guys. So what it is is exactly what it says. It's a concealer, but you can almost use it to like highlight areas as well because it's very very lightweight this is the shade number one and then this is the shade number two and you can see I mean I, I do mix them both but I'm obsessed with the actual formula because it is so lightweight it literally just blends out and you are good to go I honestly feel like I can't even say anything else about it because I'm just so stunned at the formula and um, the reason I heard about these is actually Makeup by Mario Kim Kardashian's makeup artist was using this and I was like dude that looks so bomb and I wanted to try it out so I did and I'm so happy that I did because you know what I let me back it up. Let me back it up real quick. Um, over top of full coverage foundation, sometimes when I use very full coverage concealers, I just feel like it looks too crazy. You know, it looks a little too cakey or like too full coverage almost, if that's even a thing. But with this, you get the coverage, but because it has such a lightweight, blendable, very wearable formula, it will not cake up at all. Like it just lays so beautifully over top of full coverage foundation. So I've really, really, really been loving this, um, both of these this month. You guys know I wouldn't say that if like I didn't genuinely like it because since these are a pricier item, I like really want to love it before I tell you guys like it's bomb, but genuinely is bomb. <laughs> now I do have a primer and you guys know I've been on the hunt for a good drugstore primer for pretty much my entire life and I've never found one that I was like, oh my god, this thing is amazing. I have to wear it every single day until now. So this is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer and oh my god, this primer will literally change your life. And I know I've talked about it before on my channel um, within the past month, but it is so bomb. So it actually comes out white, which... Whoo, I dropped it, but that's okay because it has a very sturdy packaging, another plus of it. Um, but it does come out white, which honestly kind of scared me at first. And when you blend it out, I mean, I obviously applied a little bit too much for just a little section of my hand. But when you blend it out, it does leave a white cast, almost like a luminescence. Which, again, it really did scare me at first because I was like, mm, I don't know if I will like that. I don't know if I want that. But... I'm telling you guys, do not be scared because it will leave you with the most beautiful finish you will ever see. Like, just lit from within. It is just perfect for anybody who loves the glow. It's so funny because my um, my rock stars, like, on Twitter, on, what was it, Instagram, were, like, joking around and they were like, you should just name your, you should just change your name to Roxette Glorisa. 
Honestly, I wish I could because I love to glow that much and this makes it really, really possible. Like, I'm not even joking you when I say that because I do notice a difference when I use this primer compared to when I use other primers, which is pretty crazy because I feel like most primers, it's kind of just like helping with the wear time and maybe pore minimizing, but this light infusing primer... Honey, if you like to glow, please do yourself a favor and go get it because it is so good. This is kind of like a rediscover, a rediscovered product, I should say. Um, but I've been kind of going back to this product for contouring, and it's the NYX Blush in the shade Taupe. Now, this product I used to use back in the day. Um, I don't know, I would say maybe like a year ago or two years ago, but I completely forgot about it. And then I was in Ulta the other day, or earlier this month, not the other day, but earlier this month, and I saw it, and I picked up like a ton of other blushes as well, honestly. But this is the only one that I've really used so far. And I am obsessed with how sharp and cut it makes my cheekbones because I don't know what it is, honestly. I feel like it's actually just the shade. Like, the shade is so, such a natural, cool toned looking color. Let me swatch it real quick right here. I don't know if you can even tell what that looks like, but that's honestly good for contouring for me because I can be a little heavy handed. So, I prefer when contours and also blushes are not. As pigmented just because it helps me from not looking like a clown too much so yeah I really really love this for contouring and I've been loving it all month and I like that it is a very affordable option for you guys you don't have to spend like 50 bucks on a contour palette when you can just use one shade so and honestly I this is one thing I totally forgot to mention, but I feel like it blends out so seamlessly, which is what helps it look very, very, very natural and just helps sculpt the cheeks, but, you know, makes it very easy to do so. And I like the packaging a lot, too, even though it's like, you know, it's nothing, like, too crazy, but I feel like it's compact, it's easy to travel with, you don't have to get a full contouring palette and use one shade out of the entire palette, you can just you know, use this one and be good to go. Alrighty, I've got two different sprays to tell you guys about because y'all know I be staying hydrated this summer. Um, but the first is a skincare spray. This is from H2O Plus Beauty, and it's the Aqua Defense Shielding Matcha Facial Essence. This stuff is amazing. Um, so this is what I use. This is more of like a skincare spray for me, so I will use this directly after I cleanse my face. I'll just spray this on and kind of let it sit into my skin, then go on with my serum and my moisturizer and everything like that. But I'm telling you guys, for some reason, it really does help my skin almost like look more toned, if that makes sense. Like, a little bit more even, and I mean, I don't know, I kind of believe that it does protect your skin a little bit, because I know that green tea is really, really good for the skin, has a lot of antioxidants, and over top of all of this, I just feel like it's so refreshing, especially, you know, now that it's summer, it's a lot hotter, which don't ask me why I'm wearing a freaking sweater in the summertime. I don't know. I just really wanted to be comfy and cozy today, but um, because I want to be, like, more refreshed when I wake up and stuff, I just feel like this is such a nice and easy way to do so. And then, again, very refreshing. Honestly, this stuff is everything to me. So this is the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray and it is so bomb. First of all, it smells amazing. I love the scent of coconuts. Like, I love coconut anything, honestly. Coconut, like, literally anything coconut I will absolutely love. And this smells like coconuts. It's... Oh, I love this, the scent of it. I like literally spray it just to smell it sometimes because it smells so good to me. But um, I really feel like it actually works well as well. Does that make sense? And I do love the original primer as well. You guys know that. I feel like it's very moisturizing. It's very hydrating. It's very good for the skin. Um, but I feel like they really outdid themselves with this guy as well because this, you could actually, like, I take it with me. I, like, throw it in my bag, take it with me throughout the day, and spray it to kind of refresh myself and my makeup throughout the day because it is a setting spray, and I use it right after I do my makeup, but I honestly use it throughout the day to refresh my makeup and because it smells good low-key. But yeah, I've really, really, really been loving that this month. And last but not least, oh, well, two things. Um, okay, last makeup item, but not least makeup item. I rediscovered my Artist Couture highlighters this month. And oh my god, who is this? 
love. It's love. It's love. I had this a while ago and I rediscovered it in my collection and I was shook. Like genuinely shook. Look at that glow. Just look at it. Just look at it. It's like literally everything to me. So what I do is I'll apply a normal powder pressed highlighter um, to the tops of the cheekbones, the inner corners, the brow bones, where, wherever, yada yada yada, you know the drill. Um, and then I'll take this and I'll kind of detail highlight so I'll apply a little bit more to the tips of the cheekbones and then the brow bone and then everywhere else and I'm telling you guys this takes your highlight to a whole nother level especially if you are layering it like me like I know that's like super duper extra but what can I say I love to glow and I'm just telling you guys right now these highlighters are everything literally everything like I cannot stress that enough and I love that I can use it with other highlighters and I'm telling you ever since I started using this I've been getting even more questions about like what highlighter I'm wearing because I feel like this just has something special about it because it's so finely milled it almost has like it looks like a diamond to me or something like it just has that very natural glow but it does look like your natural skin and you can build it up you can apply it in layers and it will still look like your actual skin it's not gonna look like you applied 10 layers of highlighter even though I did <laughs> so that is it for makeup my last favorite is actually this necklace that I'm wearing this star necklace Okay, low-key, I know this is like super cheesy and like probably so, I don't know, I don't know, it's kind of cheesy, but this star necklace kind of reminds me of you guys, like my rock stars, just because, I don't know, every time I think of stars now, I think of you guys, so I really like this because of that particularly, but also I just think it's so, so cute. I feel like it just adds a nice little pop of something, 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 something to an outfit. Like even today, I'm literally wearing like a black crew neck sweatshirt, but because I kind of, you know, spice it up with some layered chokers, I feel like it makes it still look kind of cute. You know what I mean? And this one is from Fawn Star. I'll be sure to link it down below. Um, I'll link everything down below, but just so you guys know where to find it because I really, really like it. Been loving it this month. Um, I've worn it in a couple of Videos and some of you guys were asking where I got it so yeah that is where I got it fawn star and that is actually going to be it for my favorites this month I hope you guys enjoyed the video Whew, I feel like I rushed through that one I was talking so fast I gotta remember to like slow myself down sometimes but um yeah hope you guys enjoyed give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you can also subscribe um, to my vlog channel if you want to because I've been uploading a lot more vlogs now and I'm trying to get back into vlogging so if you want to see more of me you know skedaddle on over there it's just Roxette Arisa vlogs is the channel name over there so yeah I think that's gonna be it for today's video remember you are beautiful inside and out I love you guys with all of my heart and I will see you next time